Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Molly here and I am going to talk about my month of May. So working on my goals and anything that I enjoyed such as the media that I've been reading and watching and playing video games and stuff. So I just thought it'd be fun to wrap it up in a nice little flow and just talk to you guys. Um, sorry if I sound congested because I'm a little bit congested because of my allergies. Um, so sorry about all this, which is why I'm trying to film too far away, so hopefully you guys won't see all this. <laughs> um, so, I am filming this on Sunday, and Thursday, I took a PTO sick day. Um, it was just not happening. I just kept blowing my nose nonstop, nonstop. It was just ridiculous. And then Friday, I worked from home, um, just getting some things done, admin stuff. Um, so it was just... It was what it was. I just could not go in and work with clients. For those of you who do not know, I work with those with disabilities, so I just felt like I could not do direct care with them for those two days. It was just not going to happen. But yeah, so that's what I <laughs> So sorry if I sound a little congested. I just wanted to film this because um, I am feeling like 75% better. I am doing better. <laughs> um, it just has to run this course. I just deal with this twice a year in the spring and when the fall when the weather changes it is what it is it's just part of me basically <laughs> um so let's talk about may so in the month of may um one of my goals typically throughout this year is trying new foods or cooking new foods so this month i tried kielbasa for the first time my mom she made it in a barbecue sauce on um, during mother's day and it was really good i really enjoyed it it smelled so good so i was like you know what i'll try it and then also too, um, Eagles Waffles had these Fruit Loop frozen waffles, and they're okay. Um, I don't think I would really get them again. I think I prefer right now just like the regular the chocolate chip. They're just whatever. It was okay. I just finished them up just because I paid for them basically. <laughs> um, uh, so um, another thing that I'm trying to do is prioritize my sleep. So that means like learning sleep techniques and, or like just focusing, zooming in on my sleep, how I can sleep better. So, um, I did change my blanket to a lighter blanket this month. Um, my top blanket anyways, on top of my comforter. I think that's been helping a little bit, especially in the summer, um, because it's lighter. I hoping that's helping anyways. And also too, um, I've been trying to position the fan that I have on me. In different ways to try to like um cool me down because I am a hot sleeper I it just is what it is so I've been like trying to play around with my sleep um I think though I might this month try melatonin I bought some melatonin gummies um from Ollie I just I don't know how I feel about trying them it's just one of those things that I'll have to like choose a day, you know what I mean? So that way I know, God forbid, if I had to call out of work, it'd be an easier day to call out of work. You know, it's just one of those situations. Um, because I don't know how melatonin is going to affect me if I do try it. Anyways, but that I think is the next step. Um, let's talk about money. So, I'm trying every pay period to invest five dollars each pay period which I did in the month of May. I think I'm gonna boost up for ten dollars uh, um each pay period and just get a little more money in there in my um IRA account, Roth IRA. So yes I have a Roth IRA account that I'm trying to invest in for retirement. Um because my work they don't let you enter the retirement account until your one year anniversary, which I completely understand, which we'll talk about in a minute work. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, and also too, so I'm thinking of just upping it to $10, and also too, I'm thinking in the month of, well, I already paid my um, loans from June, so I'm thinking maybe in July, paying an extra $100 on one of my loans, um, just start doing that, kind of, seeing how that works out, um, just to keep paying them off, I haven't decided yet, this month of May for June, too, I just feel like I couldn't really do too much, because 
I bought my iPad with syncing funds and also to I um bought new eyeglasses which I really needed so it's like one of those things like I just feel like I'm gonna work towards it now and focus on it because I don't think there's really anything that I really need knock on wood to worry about for the rest of the year um until basically my Christmas syncing fund as well so I, I've been putting I put $25 into my Christmas sinking fund, hoping to get at least to $500, which will hopefully settle me um, for Christmas. So yeah, I'm just trying to plan ahead in financial finances, um, which is part of life too, finances. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, I don't think there's really anything going on for the rest of the year, so except for Christmas time when that comes. Um, and then let's talk about work. So it, I hit my one year mark this past week because I joined the day after Memorial Day last year and it's been a whirlwind. I've been really enjoying my job. Um, so I feel like I'm more hands on at this job compared to my when I had this title assistant program manager at my previous company where I got laid off from um because I'm doing supervisions with staff um so sitting down one-on-one -on -one with staff talking about how they're doing how the clients that they work with are doing just checking in um and also too I've been doing timesheets for staff their mileage because we get paid mileage when the clients are in the car with us um and then taking meetings writing client goals for their annual um, service plan so it's been really interesting and fun I feel like it's more of a step up than what I'm used to doing and I'm okay with that um, so yeah it's just been really interesting and I'm thankful too that my manager she's been really awesome she actually wants to see me grow so which continuing on this growth was for me to get med certified so being able to give clients medications and as of like May 25th, um, no, it was like the 23rd, I am officially med certified. I can give clients meds, so that is just really fun. Um, I failed the in-person intake in April. It was just a complete disaster. I did not know what to expect, um, and luckily after that, when I did it first, the nurse, she told me, what went wrong gave me some feedback and in May when I did the intake again so the intake is giving client meds and obviously the nurse is always there because god forbid if anything was to happen um so I aced it <laughs> um she gave me my certificate and she said you did a really good job this time I was really happy um so yeah I, I studied and everything and it really paid off I'm really excited for being able to do this and excited for that opportunity, very happy. So yeah, I am med certified, um, so that's very exciting. I always wanted to be med certified, but the places where I was working previously, they just really couldn't do that for me. Um, they always like needed me in field, and because when you do med certification, you have to take two classes and then take time to do two tests, one paper and one in-person intake. So it was just a lot of time and they couldn't really finagle my time to be out from infield. So it was just one of those things that just never happened until now, but I'm very thankful that it could happen now. <laughs> um, it's just another step up because I always wanted to do it. Now, I'm also trying this time to do different videos, um, being more hands on with editing and stuff like that. So. I am very excited for the vlogs that I've been doing. Uh, um, it did have been fun and interesting. Been trying to be creative, trying to come up with shorts. Obviously, I haven't been able to film too much because of this um, this past week, so that's kind of sad. But there's some video ideas that I do have up in storage on my Notion and up here. Um, so that's exciting. But yeah, just trying to do more editing and all that good stuff. Um, more filming for you guys. I'm trying to do vlogs and also reviews of like books and video games and what have you um so it's been very fun 
to get a mixture of them. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying that as well as much as I have. Just getting a glimpse of my life and just having fun with you all. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, there's that. Now, um, let's talk about the good stuff, the media. So, this month I watched Unfrosted, which is about how Kellogg's and Post were trying to figure out Pop-Tarts, like how to create Pop-Tarts. And it was really funny. I enjoyed it. Um, I love Melissa McCarthy. She was in it. And also, too, Schmidt from The New Girl. I just love him. He's just so funny. He was in it as well. Um, and, yeah, I just really enjoyed it and had fun watching it. I'm glad my dad told me about it. <laughs> um, and then I also finished Ugly Betty, which is sad to see it go because I really enjoyed it, especially learning about the, like, entrepreneurship and, um, the media stuff. It was really interesting to see all that. Um, I really enjoyed it, that aspect. Um, it was cute. I, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Um, I had fun watching it. So, no, I basically have to find something else because right now I'm currently watching Love on the Spectrum, which I just love watching it. It's just wholesome, and I think it's educational from the standpoint that I work with those with disabilities, um, so it's interesting to hear from, like, some of the family and psychologists as well. It's just really interesting, and I've been really enjoying it. Um, and then I watched the part one of season three of Richardson that is on Netflix. Um, I'm really interested to see where they go with the next part. I am not a fan of Colin and Penelope. I'm just like, they can just have each other. I feel like they're just awful people. What he said about her and then what she did to Eloise, I'm just like, whatever. They can have each other. I don't know. That's just how I feel. A lot of people like this season. Yes, that carriage season uh, sh shot. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> but <clears throat> I'm really curious. Like I said, I think where they're going to head to season, the next part of the season. I've been really enjoying Francesca and the introverted guy. I forget his name right now. I just find them adorable. Like, they're two introverts. And I really hope they get together. I think... Swear alert, if possible, I guess. I don't know. I just want to kind of, you know, like if you want to skip for a second. I think the next season is, next part of the season, I should say, is going to be Colin finding out about the thing and um, him trying to process it. Um, and also to Francesca, maybe she'll have like a proposal from each of the guys, two guys her deciding who she wants to be with. I don't know. I have not read the books. I really do want to read the books. I uh, have a hold at the library. So hopefully whenever they come in, I can put them on my Kindle and read a little bit of them anyways. But yeah, so I'm really interested to see where the next part of the season goes. It just stinks that they couldn't put it all in one section, um, but it is what it is. And then, so I'm still watching Big Bang Theory. I just find it, well then anyway, it's funny. I'm kidding mm, when they make fun of um, Penny. I'm just like, whatever. But in some of the comedy, I'm just like, whatever. But Sheldon just makes the show for me. And when I'm done this, I think I do want to watch Young Sheldon just to see what happens um, previously <laughs> um, in his life. I'm just really interested in it. Um, and then let's talk about books. So I have finished The Trials of Apollo, which I really enjoyed reading. I don't think I'm going to take on right now another whole series because I just feel like I just got rammed out on series right now, which is why I'm currently reading a Whole New World, which is the Aladdin Twisted Tales. Um, I've been really enjoying that and seeing what happens in that. Um, and I also finished, though, to The Power to the Middle. Um, I found it really interesting, and I learned a few things here and there. Um, and now I am currently reading for my nonfiction, Feel Good Productivity. I've been really enjoying that as well, and reading Right Ali Abdul has been saying, um, 
So yeah, that's what I've been <laughs> into lately. And also to um, this month in April, May, sorry, May, I've been playing Little Kitty Big City and I've been finding it cute. I do have to remind myself that it's okay to explore a video game because I feel like in video games that I'm used to playing, um, you just have to go like one goal after another, um, achievement after another anyway. It's like Kingdom Hearts, you have to go here, here, here. Where Little Kitty Big City and like Hogwarts Legacy, I feel like there's more to explore. It's more of an exploration game. Um, yes, there are achievements that you have to do, but I think a lot of it too is just exploring. And I have to remind myself, it's okay just to explore and play this game. Um, so yeah, and also too, I've been playing obviously Disney Dreamlight Valley. I finally opened up um, The Forgotten Lands, which is really cool. And I've been enjoying playing that as well. I just really love Disney Dreamlight Valley. I just find it so cute and wholesome. It's just one of my favorite games. Um, so yeah, that's really my month of May. I'm hoping in June to have like a low spend month. Um, knock on wood. Because I bought my iPad at the end of April, beginning of May. I also bought eyeglasses as well, which I needed. So I'm hoping to kind of have a low spend month in June, um, just to kind of finagle my wants versus needs and my finances, you know what I mean? And just like not buying something until I really need it or really want it as well and going through things that I have in my house anyways already still, or I should say my apartment. Um, but yeah, so that's really it. I'm hoping to, to like walk around my apartment to see what I can organize and what needs to go to donations or in the trash, you know what I mean? Like organizing a little more. I feel like I'm getting there. Um, just my office is just, that's like one of the main areas. But I feel like if I walk around my apartment just for like half an hour in each, not in each room, but like half an hour just walking, like five, ten minutes in each room, coming up with ideas on how to organize it um, and just decluttering, I think we'll be okay. We're getting there though. Um, but yeah, so that's really about it, what's been going on. Um, I enjoyed my month of May. I took off. Memorial Day weekend, I went up to the lake to my parents, um, spent some time with them. I also went up to the lake for Mother's Day. I really enjoyed seeing my parents and my sister, my brother-in-law, my nephews. Um, it's just been really fun hanging out with them. I am looking forward to summer. Summer has been my second favorite season. Um, I just enjoyed the sunshine and the fresh air and just being outside when the weather is really nice and hopefully this summer I can go to the beach again um, I really want a beach day and just you know enjoy being outside and that's what I'm trying to do lately is just enjoy being outside whenever I can so yeah that's really about it how was your month of May? feel free to leave a comment down below hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye friends